Harry Maguire is set to start. We'll get more on that later. But joining us now for the next 45 minutes, we are delighted to say we have former England and West Ham striker Dean Ashton. Good morning, Dean. Good morning, Laura. Dean, morning, how Harry. are you, mate? You're in good form. You look well. I am. I'm, I'm enjoying being over here. You I did the, the, uh, the opening game last night. How did you enjoy it? I thought it was, I mean, the first half especially, I thought I saw the, the opening ceremony and then the, the first half, and I've got to say, I thought Ecuador were Looked brilliant. lively, didn't they? Oh, I thought they were so good. Uh, Considering how young the team yeah. was, some of their players, early 20s, yeah. first World Cup, yeah. no nerves, brilliant. I thought Qatar really, really struggled. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought, yeah, it was just, it, how nice is it to get the tournament, brilliant. Underway. get it started. What did you think about the fans leaving? Tell us about, because you were in commentary, so obviously yeah. you, saw, you saw what happened. Were a lot of the Qatari fans leaving and what sort of time? A lot didn't come back um, after the half-time break, so, which surprised me. You, know, you, you think you wait so yeah. long to have a World Cup. And, and it was full um, in that first half. The stadium was full. The atmosphere was, was excellent. Mm. And then I think because they'd gone behind, mm -hmm. some didn't turn up after the second half. And then very, very quickly, probably around the hour mark, really visible patches of empty seats were, yeah. were visible. And it, it, it was a real shame because it should be something that, that should yeah. be celebrated, shouldn't well, it? 100%. Well, let's, let's focus on England just for a second, Dean, mm. because we've had some breaking news earlier on that Harry Maguire set to start. We also heard earlier on this morning, didn't we, Ali, that Saka would be yeah. starting as well over Foden. What do you think about the changes? Well, not the changes, I, I, think we ha I think we have to just understand that Gareth has got real strong mm. loyalties to certain players when it comes to England. Sterling. I think, I think a lot of people right. touch on the, the comment he made very early on in, in when he took over from England, which is I'm going to pick players in form. But I think he gets round that, and, and he can be right to do that because it's his choice, in the fact that the form for England. So how you play for England, how you play for him, means a lot to him. And I think he, he feels like it's a building process and he wants certain players to be part of that always. And there'll be a lot of people, me included, I, there's no way I would start Harry Maguire. I just yeah. wouldn't. I think there's, there's a, so much pressure on him. I think there's other players that are in form and are more than capable. Who would ben you have with then? Ben White would, would yeah. be starting for me alongside John Stones. Those two for me would be the centre-back pairing. Yeah. But he likes the experience. In tournaments especially... Stones and Maguire, you have to say, have been very, very good. It's a funny one as well because I agree. We were talking b b before you came in to join us um, regarding the Sterling situation. And Maguire's the same to a certain degree. There is a degree of loyalty shown by Gareth, and I think there has to be because we are, the, I think, the players, and we are the very people that would be critical of him if he didn't have any loyalty at all. But he's got, it's a very, very thin line, and it's a fine line, and he's got to get it right, and effectively. It will be results, how he's judged But by. also, I mean, you've been a manager. Ha you do have, not your favourites, but you have players oh. that you just, you like what they do, you like what they represent, you, you like what they are like within the game in terms of organisation, yeah. in terms of how you can communicate with that player, what they're like away from the pitch as well. Managers just do have <laughs> these players that they... Does he have a point? So, so when we're talking about the likes of Harry Maguire and, and Sterling, if he does start as well, does he have a point in terms of the difference between Premier League football and a World Cup on that international stage and the different pressures that, that can get to you? If you have got players, even though they're not starting, they're not necessarily performing to their best, but they know what it's about on Handle a big the stage. Pressure. Yeah, yeah, does he I have mean, a point? It's the, it's the biggest thing I felt and noticed when I went and joined with England was that pressure of, it's not just the, you know, 40,000 on a Saturday at yeah. club level or the, the fans that you might see. This is England and you know, and I've heard people talk about it and, and even recently when I watched a couple of documentaries, you hear the 1990 <laughs> boys talk about them penalties and how... Mm. They didn't realise it then, but how that would affect them and how... And players now know that. Players now mm. know... Whatever happens, that is just going to be so blown, blown out that yeah. can you handle that? And that, it, when you're human, that affects you. It does. And who can handle that pressure, maybe? I think. How do you think it would be interesting to, to see how somebody like Phil Foden reacts to it? Now, I don't have any doubt you know, that, that he'll react fine in terms of his training and his desire to get back in the squad. However, what a blow for him. Because he must be thinking, I'm good enough to start on this team. I mean, he's a world-class talent for me. Yeah. He's probably one of the best young players in the world. So, again, for me, I, I would have him in the team. But 
he, ha he, hasn't, he hasn't excited me that much when he's played for England. So why is that? Is that because, is that because he even feels the pressure when he plays for England? Or is it because Gareth's not playing him in the right way? I'd be interested to Carlos know what... will take that into account. There's absolutely no doubt he'll take that into account. And it's getting back to the fact Sterling has done anything but let him down. Arguably one of the players of the tournament in the, two th in the last Euros. Scores goals. You know, his form's not been great since the start of the season. But Gareth knows he can rely on him. I just think, and I don't know whether you agree, Dean, I think there's a little bit more pressure on somebody like Harry Maguire because I think England in their attacking areas, everybody thinks will be fine. But I think it's defensively, when they come to the, the real business end of the tournament, when you're playing the best strikers mm. on the planet, mm. that's when I think England might have a problem.